Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the 2022 KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship here at Harbor Shores in Benton Harbor, Michigan. We are very pleased and grateful to be joined by our defending champion, Alex Cheka. Alex, thank you for finding us and uh, staying dry for a few minutes here with us. Yes, thank you. Um, let's talk about last week real quick. What a unique uh, feature. You win a championship last year at Southern Hills, and you get to go back at the PGA and play at that same golf course, which doesn't happen with this championship often. So how nice was it for you to be back at the site of uh, where you made such a mark last year? Well, uh, uh, I had good vibes. You know, I arrived there. Um, it was great weather. It's a beautiful golf course. I had great memories. Uh, obviously, I knew it's a different field. It's going to be a different golf course playing 7,600, whatever. Um, but uh, it was nice to see some old friends, familiar faces. Um, you know, I didn't particularly play well for that long golf course. Uh, I didn't drive it well, so I was struggling a little bit. But we had tough conditions, but overall it was a fabulous week. Um, I was super happy to be back and, um, you know, it was a little torture for me the way I played golf last week, called totally different than a year ago where I was striping the ball, making every putt. You know, this is what sport is all about. Sure. And, uh, you know, now the week is over and now we, we, we're coming here. So I'm looking forward for another great week. And you are here, and you're back to your regular job, if you will, on the PGA yes. Tour Champions. Um, your week began, uh, in essence, last night, hosting uh, the Champions Dinner. Talk about your experience uh, putting that together and, and how, how your evening went last night. Uh, yeah, I, I think it went really well. Um, I was a little bit nervous, you know, when you host something for the first time and do something in the first time, you don't know who's coming, how the food is going to be and everything, but everything turned out really great. Uh, uh, we had a lot of fun. The food was amazing. I was serving a, a, a schnitzel, a, a German traditional uh, meal, and uh, it was really great. So I'm, I'm happy I, I, I was able to host this. And can I ask, uh, you got into the theme of the evening, German, uh, going back to yours, and you had a, a, a native outfit on of sorts, right? Yes, Correct? yes. No, everybody's coming in a, in a jacket, so I, I, I thought I'm going to mix it up a little bit, and I threw on the, the, the old lederhosen, you know, so like an Oktoberfest outfit. Um, I, think it was, I think it's very unique, and, uh, um, you know, it's, it, was, it was great, yes. It was. It was. It was a great evening. Uh, let's go over here on, on microphone three. Let's go to Jeff, please. Alex, you spent a number of years on the PGA Tour fighting late in the year to keep a card, and you started on this, this tour trying to get status. Uh, all of a sudden, you reeled off victories in two great majors. What, what was it like to have that security? Uh, now it's great. You know, um, as you said, I, I turned 50. I didn't have much status. Um, so you're a little bit worried because you don't know how, how long you're going to play, when you can tee it up. Um, I somehow did it. I somehow qualified, you know, won, won a tournament uh, at the tradition, what gave me the chance to play. Then uh, the PGA, uh, the senior PGA, a couple of weeks later. Uh, so the, the main pressure was gone because I already had won and, and I knew I can play a little bit out here at least for one or two years. So um, it was great. So the pressure is gone, but it's still tough competition here. Uh, no matter what week you play, it's just great players, Hall of Famers, major champions. Um, the competition is really tough. So you got to really play great game to contend out, out there, you know? And, uh, you know, I'm just happy I'm in, in, in a way like this where I can still keep playing, where I can enter whenever I want. So right now, right now it's a great feeling, you know. There's a freedom in it, right? It's, I mean, it's yeah. freedom, yeah. It frees up a lot of things, yes. We're going to go all the way down the line on number five. Hey, Alex, just a, kind of a couple random ones for some different features we're doing, but uh, the trophy for the senior PGA is massive. Talk about what it was like to lift that up and hold that and just how big that trophy is. The Alfred S. Bourne Trophy, that's Thank the you. proper name. Yes, yes. Well, it, it, I didn't even expect it to be that heavy. So, um, you know, you still have adrenaline by winning and everything 
it's real, you don't believe it, you know, they, and, uh, you know, then they tell you you can lift it, and then I was really shocked how heavy it is, you know, I was just going to go and pick it up, I was like, whoa, whoa, so it, it's, it's really heavy, but, you know, in that moment, even if it's 50 pounds heavier, you just uh, lift it, you know, and you hold it as long as you can, yes, but it was a, uh, incredible feeling, yes. The heaviest trophy I've ever gotten. <laughs> well, that's something. And then uh, this course here, there's a lot of different terrain on this course, a lot of different features. Jack Nicholas course. Just talk about how you have to navigate yourself around this course and how you have to be prepared for what it throws at you. Yeah, it's tricky. So, um, you know, I played now a couple times. Um, yesterday in a, in a warmer weather, I played it before in really cold and windy conditions. So it's really... The course is already tricky, challenging around the greens when you don't hit like really great shots and it's almost impossible over all those tiers to make two putts when you have a, a, a 80 footer over three ridges. So um, it's tricky, but you know, it all depends on the weather, what we're getting in the tournament. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna maybe, if the weather is really bad, move up a couple tees, maybe be a little bit more generous with the pin positions uh, that would be nice, uh, but um, you know you still gotta play. You gotta execute your shots here. There is not one hole where you can take a breather. It's like, oh, let me just you know punch a four iron down there, hit it on the green, make easy two putts. Um, it's just tricky, and uh, you, you need like everything here in the bag to, in the end, to to be up there on the leaderboard. Let's go to Jeff on three. You, uh, you talked last year in that great run of play. How well you drove it? Are you, are you close to that now, or feel close to that? I'm close. Um, I, I don't know what happened last year in that in those two months. I, I I think I've never had this before. I was just everything was like a machine. I drove it long. I drove it straight. There was no fear. Even if the fairways were really narrow, I just hit it well and put it well. Um, I think that was my best two months in. In my career, like playing-wise, uh, I'm I'm close. I'm hitting it well. Uh, I've been playing pretty decent all year long. I maybe don't have the success or the results um, as as my game is, but you know I'm I'm still believing. I'm still positive. Um, you know, there's still a lot of tournaments to come. So, you know, every week is a new week, is a new fresh start. You know. Uh, uh, last last weekend I was 11 over par. Now on Thursday I'm back to even, starting a new tournament. So uh, it's it, it's it's a great feeling. Yes. Alex, we have some special guests yes. here to uh, address you. I'm, I want to introduce and maybe put up your hands. Annabelle is our grand prize winner, yes. and her sister Sophie. Uh -huh. Annabelle and Sophie. Let's start with them, and then we'll get to uh, Heidi and Hudson. I'll introduce them in a moment. Uh, yes. Annabelle, do you have a question for Alex? Uh, yeah. Have you ever got a hole in one? Uh, yes. Uh, not that many. I think I have like, well, not that many. I think it's five. Um, but um, one, one as an amateur and four in, in tournaments, but never, always on the wrong hole, so never <laughs> won a prize. Uh, but it's, it's a great feeling to have a hole in one. I mean, most of the shots... I must even admit we're not perfect shots. They just bounce somewhere and then start rolling and go into the hole. When was your most recent ace? I think most recent one was at the Shriners, I think three years ago at the Shriners in Las Vegas okay. um, on the 17th hole, I think. Okay, you're kind of due. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go to our other winners, Heidi and Hudson. Yes. Do you folks, do you guys have a question for, uh, for Alex? Go ahead. If you each right. have one, that's fine, too. What's your favorite club to use? Um, oof, favorite club. Um, I like to chip a lot around the green. So I like the 52, like a sandwich. And I do most of the chipping and bunker shots with, with my sandwich. So that's my favorite club. What I use almost every time I miss the green, I'm chipping with a, with a sandwich. Hudson, do you have a question? He has two questions. Two questions. All right. Fire break, away. Break them down. How often did you practice as a kid? 
as as much as I could. Um, you know, it's obviously when you still go to school. So after school, you you you, you start uh, practicing till it's till it's dark. Um, you know, then when I turn professional, um, y you have to practice every day because there's so many great kids and great young players who want to be professionals, who want to play great, and they all practice till till it gets dark. So as much as you can, you gotta have fun, but you gotta practice uh, on 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 daily basis. It doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's 30 degrees or, cell, or 90 degrees. Uh, you just got to keep practicing to, to be good. Alex, uh, unlike many of the media members over here. Oh, we have one oh, more yeah, question. We one, one more question. Okay, I'm fire sorry. away. Come on. I forgot. I apologize. Yeah, for the second question, how yes. many fish did you catch this morning? Uh, I didn't fish this morning. I went fishing the other days, and um, I guess I'm a bad, bad fisherman. I didn't catch anything. <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't maybe find the right spot yet. Uh, I was in the river, like close to the marina. I think when I, if if you go to a to a little pond, you can catch some bass. But so far this week, I haven't caught anything yet. Usually, rain's good for fishing. Okay, unlike the other media, these these uh, folks have a gift for you yes. uh, that they'd like <laughs> to share. Why don't you step? Okay. Up? Don't trip. What do we have here? What? Oh, a smoothie, and it's for me. It's your and style. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna try it. Did you guys have it yet? Did yeah. you try it? Yeah. We you did. like it? Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. Sweet. Yeah. They did I well. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank Great you. job. You made him happy. <laughs> we want them him Tastes leaving great. the CIA area. That's an happy. extra birdie right here, <laughs> every day. Uh, I think that's it, Alex. Uh, Thanks for Thank visiting. Uh, thanks for uh, serving as a terrific defending champion, and best of luck this week. We'd love to see Thank you back in here a few times. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.